Hello, this is Bitcoin Macro and on this video guys I'm going to talk about Polkadot and the Polkadot ecosystem. So I've mentioned Polkadot many many times before but this time around I wanted to give you guys an update to its ecosystem. It was something that I wanted to do for quite some time. Unfortunately I really failed to do it. I'm not going to lie there have been a lot of coins that have been saddened recently because um, I want to give you some really nice coins that have done pretty well but I was always doubting whether these ones are going to be useful or you know people would look for them so it was just my mistake i apologize for not giving you guys what i thought was going to be best and i went a little bit after what was a bit hotter because there were a lot of things that were going on in the market so you know i've got a limited amount of time so every time i was thinking that i want to cover something good there was something that was popping out and was kind of a little bit more important let's say like shiba and all that stuff so i do believe that Unfortunately, I gave a little bit more time to stuff that were less quality, but I thought they were more important at the time. But I do believe it's still pretty early for the Polkadot ecosystem, although there has been a little pump, especially for all you guys that are trading versus the US dollar. So at the moment, Polkadot, at least versus Bitcoin, it has been doing a very, very nice sideways movement, in my opinion. This is going to be a very explosive move to the upside because... It has tested this resistance, this level, many, many times. It has, it is getting a little bit rejected into this level on R3, especially if we look at a smaller time frames right here. But now this seems to be turning uh, the old resistance into support, at least slowly. It hasn't done it fully yet. We haven't had a confirmation, but in my opinion, it's something that is going to happen sooner or later. Of course. Polkadot is trading above its key moving averages. It hasn't even been trading for that long to have a 300 day moving average because it's a much, much younger project. It hasn't even been out for a year. So of course, it's quite special just because of that, because it's something that hasn't pumped before. And whenever there's something that hasn't pumped before, it's something that, at least in my opinion, it's interesting in my eyes because sometimes the stuff that have pumped or at least the ones that are not in like making like new all-time highs or they are not close to new all-time highs maybe maybe uh there is something wrong with them maybe there is a lot of supply maybe the project is great but again it might just be something uh to do with just trading and psychology and all that stuff rather than um the project itself so for now polkadot is looking very good versus bitcoin so let's look at the usd chart of course there had been that issue with tesla and bitcoin and you know Tesla stopping uh, the acceptance of Bitcoin on its stores. Uh, it's quite sad. It's quite weird, to be honest. Uh, I don't know why they did it. I don't really see the point. I like a lot of the projects right now, but I do believe uh, there is a reason for Bitcoin to exist and for mining to exist. But for those that like staking and they like the proof of stake networks like Polkadot, uh, you know, I shouldn't say exactly, it's not exactly a proof of stake network, but uh, it's a quite different one. But at least the structure is uh, a proof of stake network. So when I look at this chart right now, if I was to say that this is going to go down a lot, then it would have to start breaking below $27. But currently it's showing an immense amount of strength above the monthly pivot. And if I just look at the 50 day moving average, uh, maybe, you know, I just do this because some guys get confused guys when i use the 300 moving average on the four hour that's the same one as the 50 day moving average pretty much the same or exactly the same actually because we have four times six 24 hours in a day and that's why i use 50 times six which is 300 so currently it's sitting at this resistance right here so maybe it doesn't break it immediately but if it starts breaking above it then it could do very very well at least for now, the main target that we could have for this month would be this R3 right there. And in my opinion, what's going on right now is that fees on Ethereum have gotten very high again. Uh, Ethereum is still mining, is still using mining, at least for now. And potentially other layer two, other, excuse me, layer one protocols could do much better than Ethereum as Ethereum is just taking a little bit of a backseat after having such a, such a massive rally. I'm not saying Ethereum won't rally, but maybe some of those layer one protocols just do a little bit better as people start diversifying because they look at the fees and they are like, this is not sustainable. This is no good. So maybe let's go into some other projects. And of course, that would affect the Polkadot ecosystem because, again, I want to make this video for quite some time, but there were a few things that I didn't like, some things that I really liked. But overall, I don't think that 
we've missed anything very specific guys now i had made an idea fairly recently on trading and that's why i tell you guys to just come and follow me for example i was talking about the issues with bitcoin in this one and that at least 51k was going to be tested that you know i could see some pullback now for example with this one with kusama I did make a pretty nice idea where I said, you know, it's going to go higher from here. As you can see, the stop wasn't hit. So although we did get a correction in the past as well, uh, it has been doing fairly well. So again, it's just one of those things, guys, that I'm trying to give you guys uh, some nice content on YouTube. But also remember that you have to follow me on Twitter, TradingView or Telegram to get faster and quicker updates on more specific setups so at least for now i do believe this could go higher but if it starts turning down because we still haven't tested that moving excuse me you haven't broken above the r3 for the yearly pivot maybe maybe we do get an extra pullback so it's not guaranteed i'm not i'm not gonna say that you have to sell your polkadot or anything like it but in my opinion it might be a little better to be long polkadot versus Bitcoin, which is something I constantly say to everyone. Now, of course, because of the really large correction, maybe the correction is enough for Bitcoin and in general, most coins versus the US dollar. But overall, I do believe um, we could potentially go higher from here, both in USD terms and Bitcoin terms. So the next one, guys, is Kusama, which is about $5 billion of market cap. Essentially, Kusama is Polkadot, uh, I don't know exactly what the difference is between the two. It's essentially a chain that launched before Polkadot. It's essentially Polkadot's cousins and it's essentially the same thing just with a few differences and potentially like the canary in the coal mine where if something bad happens to Kusama then Polkadot would know about it and it would avoid having those mistakes. So it's essentially like an incentivized testnet, it's just a testnet with real money but again I don't know um, what the difference is between the two right now because if not many people use either of those if to be honest no people use either of those so what's the point of having two different networks maybe at some point they merge or something like it because I don't really see the point of having two different chains when they do the exact same thing and especially why would somebody put money on something that is more risky uh, but you know have less money on it so kusama if i just look at the chart right here because i want to show you guys the full history this started trading on kucoin initially on some other exchanges i think it was mxc as well so it had that initial dump all the way down here and then that was about i don't know it was 80 percent maybe it was about 70 percent and then ever since it has been trending higher and higher and higher so the logarithmic chart looks very very strong of course it has gone up quite a bit but again it's still below five billion dollars so it might have more potential it's up a hundred and twenty three hundred twenty four x and this is what i'm looking at guys now it's just a logarithmic chart which is quite insane however because it has been going up nice and steady i do believe maybe it does have a little pullback initially but then it might you know uh, keep on pumping i don't know because now it had that really rapid pump so i don't know if it's just gonna go parabolic and it keeps running from here but in my opinion if it comes back down to these levels right here at about 0 0.008 bitcoin i would be very happy to buy some there so for now maybe Polkadot does perform a little bit better after it breaks out because a lot of the current market value has gone into Kusama rather than Polkadot so from the beginning of the year Kusama has outperformed Polkadot essentially Kusama has outperformed Polkadot from any single point and just a reminder guys the founder of Polkadot is the founder of Kusama and another thing to notice is that Polkadot lost a lot of money from the bug from the parity uh, bug in 2017 so they lost about i don't know tons of billion tons of millions of dollars maybe 200 or more i don't know if some of that money was saved i don't know how they kept funding themselves maybe they sold some of their coins but it's just something to keep in mind that you know that that money has been lost and it has never been retrieved 
So far, Polkadot, other than this little point right there, which I don't really think it matters that much, has been going up nice and steady, and the trend is very, very clean. So if, for example, I look at Kusama BTC, my bad, on KuCoin, you can see, guys, that again, it had a nice test, nice consolidation above the yearly pivot. It has been going higher now, has broken above the R3, so pretty much no resistance right there. Maybe it does a little pull back down to these highs and the R3 to turn it into support and then continue higher. But at least for now, it looks very bullish to me. And if you look at this right here, it did come all the way back to those levels. It retested that 300 day moving average, which is very, very healthy. Again, the only pullback that it didn't fully complete was this one. Every other level that was broken has been retested except those ones. So maybe, maybe uh, we do get a pullback down there. So the next one, guys, is the energy web. It's energy web market. It's an energy market for many assets and all that stuff. And it's not exactly on Polkadot, but it is related to Polkadot. Um, so it's just something that you need to keep in mind, in my opinion. It's one of those coins in the Polkadot ecosystem. And it's one of those coins that had a very, very big pump initially. Uh, at least in the past, probably even larger than it seems right here because it was listed on Liquid, which is a fairly unknown exchange, at least to most people at the moment. Uh, it's an old, relatively old exchange, but it never really gained much traction. And that's why uh, that probably that pump doesn't count as much. However, even since then, it has been listed on Kraken. Uh, which is very very important and it also got listed on KuCoin so maybe maybe this nice consolidation period ends in a big big breakout now maybe uh, the fails on the 300 day moving average maybe maybe goes all the way up there so it's 30 percent from here maybe fails a little higher from there about 12 percent or it could just come all the way up to the yearly pivot and then fail because that would be a very very interesting point for it to fail because essentially that's the key resistance right now because that was when it was when it was launched when trading launched on KuCoin we had that support then it turned into resistance so that's at least the first point that I see um, as a resistance so far it has been doing fairly nicely um, very nice step function so it, it had the pullback down to the monthly pivot and it's still in that consolidation period, but it's looking fairly strong at the moment. So I like the coins that have been consolidating for so long and could potentially have a breakout. Now, this doesn't mean that it's going to be a massive, massive breakout or it's going to be very strong. But let's look, for example, at the USD pairs and the one on Kraken. So even on Kraken, it has been going sideways for all this time. So in my opinion, when something is having a new listing and goes like this, it will eventually have a fairly nice pump. Now on Kraken, sometimes you do get those weeks. Uh, I wouldn't really uh, pay too much attention on them, but what matters to me is that we have that nice, nice base and it could go much, much higher from here. Maybe I could just look at the KuCoin chart as well and it looks even clearer cleaner in USD terms because it's sitting right above the level after the listing or at least the top of you know 2020 and that's why in my opinion having that round base and then slowly coming out of that consolidation it could result in a fairly big pump especially now that it's coming out of the R3 yearly and the monthly pivot. So I'm just going to go through the next ones a little bit more uh, Briefly, I'm just going to do them shorter. Uh, next one is Fala Network, which is a confidential compute cloud network. It is on Polkadot. And there are lots of things that are going on with it. Uh, it's pretty interesting, in my opinion. It's something that I would definitely suggest to people to check. And in my opinion, its chart is very, very strong and probably one of the most interesting ones, especially versus Bitcoin. So although it seems like it's going to have another pullback in this area, I do believe that eventually it's going to break higher because that one essentially started trading when it got listed on Huobi, got an instant listing on Huobi, Huobi listed a lot of those coins, a lot of those Polkadot related coins very early on. And when I see so many tests on that resistance and then we also have those highs right there, I do believe that the breakout is going to be massive, especially as we're closing right above this level, right above the monthly pivot as well. 
so it's looking very very interesting in my opinion if i look let's say at the usd chart let's see what that is telling us right now because look that is a massive massive consolidation period so if that starts breaking out that could be very very explosive because so far like with the rest of the uh, projects that i've mentioned this was a nice sideways movement very nice accumulation as bitcoin was going up then nice retest of the previous highs in this area same thing right there you can see the r3 turn into support which is a very nice thing to look at then we also had this turn into support right there and this could look very very nice as we go higher now once that breaks that could be a very very big and bullish move to the upside so in my opinion now it's fairly cheap especially as everything else has had the dip and that could be very very good for Fala if it goes all the way up there because if it retests it yes maybe it does have a pullback maybe it comes all the way back down to the monthly pivot but after that it's going to continue higher and this big spike was the listing on binance of course it did come it did retrace the whole listing which is also another good sign it has come up with a very nice step function so in my opinion it's just poised to continue higher especially if polkadot does well um, this could do well and i do believe that overall we do get many positive signs from different parts of the polkadot ecosystem as to what's going to happen to polkadot as well so you can see polkadot is something more stable but if you want to bet and take a little bit more risk on those smaller projects these are the best ones to go to especially fala in my opinion it's just going to be one of the best so next one guys is pcx chain x then it's robonomics network and then we've got edgeware which is another one we've got crust and then we've got polka starter as well so i'm going to go through these ones very very briefly so pcx was one of those projects that was trading on mxc one of my favorite exchanges it's a relatively small coin with about 100 million in market cap it hasn't had a major rally this year it recently got listed though on KuCoin so it's one of those coins that is trying to do something like a cross chain relay chain and all that stuff with Bitcoin as well so that's cool Robonomics is something totally different uh, because it's trying to connect Ethereum and Polkadot essentially kind of build on top of them and have an IoT platform that's a little bit of a I should say a long shot these are tough uh, these are very very tough these projects usually tend to fail but at least for us right now this could be something nice we've got edgeware which is a smart contract chain um you know typical smart contract chain in my opinion has a different system but overall uh what i care about right now is the price and we're going to go through all of that stuff then we've got cross network which is chain to decentralized cloud uh, it's not exact again in here for example you could not find anything related to polkadot but it is related to polkadot so to an extent uh, i have to notice this one and of course we've got polka starter which is um you know a protocol that is based on polkadot and is a way to raise capital okay so there are ideos going on there so people are raising money on those ones and this is what you have to hold in order to uh, get into these IDOs so if I just look at them briefly one by one if I look at PCX it's not looking that bad now the problem is that usually I have said that whenever I see something go up so much like this one I have such a big pump then I am a little bit put off but again that nice sideways movement once then comes all the way back down nice sideways movement not as great as this one but it's still pretty nice now of course maybe maybe you're betting on some extra listings for this one because it has been listed on kucoin and that maybe has an effect on it but other than that you know those polka dot coins might have it might struggle a little bit because they're not as liquid as ethereum so next one is robonomics so let's look at this one this one also had a very very big pump and i think it probably had another pump before this one it has been going sideways pretty nicely uh, i had that mega pump as well uh in november which is one of the things that essentially is putting me off a little bit but whenever i look at the Warby chart uh, i do believe that eventually this could have a fairly big rally but for now it looks a little bit stuck and maybe 
it takes a little longer to pump compared to other coins but at least for now i don't really believe it's going to have a really hard time going up eventually and overall maybe maybe you want to wait for the price to cross this level all the way up here but after that i do believe it's going to be a little bit late so maybe you want to trade it after the, it breaks the monthly pivot rather than anything else so if we look at the usd chart usdt chart we do see that it's a little in a weird spot because it's not really going higher it went all the way up to r3 got rejected it failed at its previous all-time high so it's not one of the greatest ones right now but at least it's one of the cheapest ones so it's up to you uh, what would you like to buy now i've got edgeware which isn't really trading on many exchanges right now it's a little gem it's been going sideways right there it's not a chart that i think it's pretty but again i'm just mentioning it because i do believe i should let you know guys know uh, about all the potential coins then the next one is crust i should look at it on huobi crust has had a very very big pump right now it's sitting above the r3 r3 had turned into a support excuse me and that had a very nice rally the previous all-time high had also turned into support after a big drop right there but for now that looks very weak and it's not one of those that are interesting to me right now and finally we've got polka starter which on hobby it doesn't look that great it has been having a weird chart because it was one of the best performers early on had a massive massive rally i do believe it was probably pumping even before it got listed on polkadot so once you have such a chart guys you have that pump initial pump then you have downside and then all the way back up and then that project is not making new highs versus bitcoin it's below it's old all-time high these are not very interesting to me so overall the ones that i would be focusing right now is polkadot energy web token kusama fala and pcx chainx at least these are the ones that i find more interesting right now so once again guys thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you on the next one